everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming back to see me. Today's play has been about tickets and I forgot to turn my camera on when I was making them so I apologise very, very humbly. Forgive me please, but I've got lots to show you. This little gorgeous piece of cross stitch I've had sitting in my glove box in the car and it's become a little bit stained but I still love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It is a hand towel, believe it or not. It's 100% cotton, but whoever did the cross-stitch work on it did a beautiful job. I absolutely love it. It wasn't me. Okay, I am I'm clever, but I don't do cross-stitch. Anyway, that's beside the point. Let me zoom just a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit. And I'm just going to hold these here. They are... The backings of these is a like a pale blue on a piece of linen that I've just had. It was actually a, a serviette, didn't match this, but it was a serviette or a napkin that I'd picked up from a second-hand shop, and I cut them into pieces. And then I found a piece of linen. So I've used pieces of linen, and I've used pieces of the, the napkin for the backing of these, so I think they're rather pretty. But the, as I was saying before, the background is a pale blue that came out of a book. It was one of the front uh, sheets of the book before you get into the text. The text behind it is from an old map book, and it's got Australian cities and places of interest. And then the Australian words and everything, the colourful pieces, are from a little paper pack that I had many moons ago and I just thought that they would fit on there and the stars came from a sticker pack that I've just about finished using but still had a lot of stars on it you don't have to always use stars for Christmas okay just taking you through these she'll be right normally finished by she'll be right mate and struth is something we quite often delight in saying in Australia oh, struth that's wrong or struth, that's good. You know, you can use it either way. It doesn't have to be bad or good. You can use it both ways. And the little owl, I had already stamped onto this little piece of linen, so I left that on there and stuck it on like a little banner. I should be laying these out where you can see them after I have finished telling you about them. And these are words to a song. I am, you are, we are Australian. With the little owl as well. He's a cute little thing. He came out of a, a set of stamps that had lots of little ones, had a couple of big sets, a couple of big stamps in that I won't use, but I did love the little owl. Now I dare you to try and say that if you're not Australian. None of you can get it right. We say g'day. Try it. I dare you. True blue. That one speaks for itself. As does that one. And I put that on the piece of linen. Now this next two are postage stamps that we use. And I've just these are reused ones, of course, and I've just put them on top of the the ticket as is as it came off my envelope. And some of our lovely Australian birds. Well, those it's only a little short video this one, but these didn't didn't take me very long to do them individually, but you know an hour or so making them, and I had lots of fun while I was doing it, just trying to get it all to work because I had cut these the same size as the ticket and it just wasn't working so I had to reschedule not reschedule but redesign them but I do hope you like them please like comment and subscribe now I'm going to try and lift these up how's that okie doke thanks everyone for coming back I do appreciate all of you very very much would love to hear from you. Let me know what you're crafting today. Bye for now.